If Russell Westbrook retires tomorrow, it will be because of one thing, money. Russ wants to be the next Michael Jordan, who goes from Hall of Fame player to Hall of Fame businessman. But what's his plan? Actually, he's got an exact strategy to be the next NBA billionaire. And it's kind of wild too, because for the flashiest dresser in the league, the plan is pretty normal. It's like Russ dressing as Tim Duncan or something. But first, who is his next team? Because before a billion, Russ needs to decide if he wants to keep playing. Well, there were rumors that he might not have a future, but the Clippers changed all that. Without Kawhi or Paul George, Russ had back-to-back 30-point -back games in the playoffs. Not only did Russ prove that he can still play at a high level, but if he's running the show, it's electric. His best option is to stay with the Clippers. The most they can offer is the 3.8 million dollar non-bird exception but no one's going to give him a lot more than that the only other potential suitors are like the wizards who need a point guard had a good run with him already the bulls who also need point guard help after chicago missed the postseason they are in panic mode maybe the heat who already showed interest this season and obviously kyle lowry is getting older there are others but the clippers also have la it's his home and they actually want Russ back. Imagine if Kawhi and PG get injured again. It is the perfect situation. So I expect him to return for under 4 million bucks, but is that even worth it? I mean, Russ recently said, I want to be a billionaire sooner than later. Uh, you ain't getting there earning 4 million in a year. He needs to start executing his plan, but first, how much money does Russ already have? But first, today's video is sponsored by Prize Picks. Guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This is the last Prize Picks spot of the year, and they have been one of my favorite sponsors. So if you guys haven't yet signed up, code AM Hoops, you get a 100% deposit match bonus. Go sign up with code AM Hoops. We would love to have them back next year. But I want to send us off with my last NBA pick of the season. I have two picks for you. First up, it's Caleb Martin's points, rebounds, and assists. This number has just floated down, and we're going with Jamal Murray's assists. This number is floating up, but he has hit it in the last four games. And I'm going more and more because that's how we've rolled all year. Why change now? If you want to play prize picks, you play in states like California, Florida, or Texas. And once again, that promo code is AM Hoops. Go sign up right now. Get that 100% deposit match bonus. Well, in 15 seasons, he's earned about 336 million bucks on the court. Off it, he's made another about 200 million through endorsements and investments. So according to his net worth of 375 million, Russ could just accrue interest and reach a billion in 20 years but he says he wants to do it quick and maybe the single best example of that is an investment by Kobe Bryant in 2011 these two random guys created a healthy alternative to Gatorade and Kobe loved it he invested six million into body armor and started promoting it for free eventually coca-cola bought the entire company for an eight billion dollar valuation turning Kobe six million into 400 million but that's like hitting the lottery it almost never happens that's not a real strategy so russ is planning something different he is going to start companies from the ground up to become big business it started with a clothing company in 2017 obviously russ is known for his fashion so he started honor the gift while playing for okc but in 2023, its revenue was just 5.7 million, not the path to being a billionaire. So he started Russell Westbrook Enterprises, which helps companies advertise. And he's got big clients like Pepsi and Nike, but their revenue, just 37 million. So the big idea, is in cars one of his first investments was in oklahoma when he was still a young player but the owner of that franchise helped russ start his own dealership in la seven years ago with an indoor court of course and that over the years has grown into 10 stores around southern california but even that is not even close to enough to be a billionaire so he sold everything off in 2022 to gamble on a big plan that plan is similar to what the richest X player you have never heard of did. Vinny Johnson was a bad boy piston who won two chips in the late 80s going through Michael Jordan. He only earned six million on the court his entire career, but he is now worth 
over half a billion dollars. So how did he do it? By starting an auto parts business. And in Michigan, a black owned business has a huge advantage because they get special access to big contracts. So Vinny's company gets to work with like Ford and GM making cars doing 3 billion in revenue. But in 2021, it all got taken away. The company got accused of not being run by minorities just by having Vinny Johnson as a silent owner. Like they're trying to sneak around the rules. So all their big contracts were in danger. Now they are still battling it out in court. So they got the contracts back temporarily, but maybe Russ sees an opening here. If he has an auto parts business, then the road to a billion is guaranteed. So right now, Russ is looking at buying different companies out there that are worth between 50 and 100 million bucks. But if that fails, he's risking a third of his net worth. If this plan doesn't work, he is screwed. But at least Russ is trying things the right way. Some NBA players have no plan and go broke. We just learned Trevor Ariza is the latest victim. He just stopped playing last Last year and it's bad. Dude earned 117 million bucks in his career, but we got to look into his finances when his ex-wife sued him. A YouTube channel called Spencer Cornelia did a deep dive on this. Go check out his video, but the details are insane. The ex-wife alone has monthly expenses of 55,000 bucks. That includes 9,000 in food every month, 9,000. 20,000 just on utilities for two houses. I thought my AC bill was high. And they live in Southern California where the weather is perfect. She spends five grand a month on gifts and vacation. Must be nice. And only, oh, $500 a month in savings. Why even put away 500 bucks? But Trevor himself is another level. Dude spends 112,000 bucks a month. That includes over 16,000 on car payments. But what does he have coming in? Just five grand on off-court businesses. 5,000 a month? Russ made 14 million in one day with an investment that worked out. But then we come to Trevor's current net worth. According to the lawsuit, he has just two and a half million dollars left in liquid assets. From 117 million earned to now just two and a half million and it is going away quick. That is how bad it can get for some of these players that don't manage their money. Now, if Russ just put aside 20 million of his 375 million, he could earn $1 million a year alone on interest the rest of his life, which sounds pretty sweet, but Russ wants a lot more than that. And why? He says it's to help other people in his community. And we have seen how charitable Russ can be to people like dropping an $8,000 tip to hotel staff in the bubble. He's always giving out turkeys for Thanksgiving. One of his biggest investments is in real estate to help underserved communities in LA. But am I crazy to think this is to protect his legacy? I mean, people have slandered this man for years now and we know it gets under his skin. For some reason, after Kevin Durant left OKC, Russ's career went into the tank, especially in the playoffs. He became known as a selfish player and ultimately a losing player. Going to the Lakers only made it worse. People blamed Russ for everything that went wrong and he started to lash out on fans that called him Westbrick at games. I think once Russ realized that he couldn't have championship success as a player, he decided to turn his focus and dominate in business, which is an even more exclusive club. There are only three American billionaire athletes, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, LeBron James. Now I think Steph Curry will get there soon, but can you imagine Russ being in that club? That would take his legacy to another level. And that's what I think this is all about. I mean, you can call it insecure or something, but I call it competitive. Russ has always been one of the most aggressive guys on the court, so it makes sense he would have the same mentality after the game. But before LeBron James became a billionaire, the dude right behind Michael Jordan was not that guy that I talked about earlier with the auto parts. It was some guy you have never heard of, I guarantee it. He was the number two richest ex-NBA player. Now he's number three behind LeBron James. His story is wild, check it out. 